Hi everyone! Today we will discuss the signs and symptoms of depression and how you may recognize them. Many people struggle with feelings of sadness, which is quite normal. That's why we'll also review how this differs from the type of depression that can inhibit our ability to function in daily life. The latter is known as major depressive disorder, or clinical depression. At times, some of us may wonder if we have bipolar disorder, which I will touch on as well. Lastly, I'd like to share a little bit about my personal experience with depression and how I learned to spot these symptoms in myself. Let's start with how to tell the difference between feelings of sadness and major depressive disorder, which I will refer to in this course as clinical depression from now on. The main distinction is that clinical depression makes it hard for us to function in many aspects of everyday life, including work, home, and relationships. Typically, when we feel sad, we can identify a reason why, such as an argument with a friend or missing a loved one. What's more, the feeling doesn't last for very long. However, clinical depression lasts longer, making it tough to fulfill our usual responsibilities. We start to withdraw and isolate ourselves from others, including loved ones. For example, when I was depressed, I didn't want to go out or do my favorite activities. It was harder for me to be social, and I'm usually a social person. I was able to go to work, but I noticed it took a lot more effort to get through the day. I wasn't enjoying my work as much as I used to, which is not normal for me because everyone knows how much I love psychiatry. And that's when I knew it was more than sadness because my mood began impacting my daily life. So now that we know the main differences, let's talk about the signs and symptoms of clinical depression, or major depressive disorder. To reach a diagnosis of clinical depression, healthcare professionals use criteria published in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, the DSM-5, which include depressed mood, loss of interest or pleasure in most activities, sleep disturbance, insomnia or sleeping too much, tiredness, loss of energy, changes in appetite, loss of appetite or increased appetite and weight gain, decreased ability to think or concentrate, feelings of guilt or worthlessness, slowed thinking, slowed emotional response, and or slowed physical movements, frequent thoughts of death or suicide. With bipolar depression, the symptoms are essentially the same as with clinical depression. However, the former tends to be accompanied by another phase in mood, which can be either mania or hypomania. A person with bipolar disorder has had an episode of mania and or hypomania at some point in their history. To properly diagnose bipolar disorder, it's critical to immediately seek professional advice from a mental health provider who can assess the symptoms. As a psychiatrist, this is my area of expertise, but even though I know these symptoms very well, it was hard to identify that it was depression in myself. So I reached out to my mentor, who's a psychotherapist, who recommended that I begin psychotherapy again since I hadn't seen my therapist for about a year. The reason I'm sharing this is that having these symptoms feels very isolating but it's okay to reach out to those you trust, the people who love and support you, so you can get the help you deserve and need. I will be talking more about the different types of support available later in the course, but if you're currently having thoughts of suicide, please contact the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, 1-800-273-8255, or for a similar helpline in your country, please visit the International Association for Suicide Prevention.